I am Professor Moses Daniel, uh, former professor and HOD of medicine, Madurai Medical College, Madurai, now practicing in Madurai. Today we will discuss about hypertension and how to prevent it. And uh, high blood pressure is a very common illness and the uh, hypertension is uh, prevalent in about 30 to 35 percent of the population. So all doctors must be familiar with the management of hypertension. And when we consider hypertension, we treat hypertension if the BP is more than 140 by 90. And there are many risk factors for developing hypertension. We have uh, obesity, diabetes, lack of physical exercise, smoking, high alcohol intake, stressful lifestyle, all these things can cause essential hypertension. Essential hypertension is the commonest form of hypertension in 90 to 95% of patients. The only 5% of patients will have some cause, like renal cause, endocrine cause, and other uh, rarer causes. So, in uh, primary essential hypertension, it is also due to genetic factors. Because if both parents are hypertensive, it is likely that the patient will get hypertension during the lifetime. So the family history is again important. Diabetes, when they have diabetes, they are always at the risk of developing hypertension. Excess salt in intake can cause hypertension. And uh, intake of foods containing potassium will reduce blood pressure. And uh, if you don't take potassium, the BP can slowly go up. And uh, regarding stress, stress usually produces hypertension during the time of stress. If the patient becomes repeatedly stressed during the day, throughout his lifetime, the blood pressure will become persistent. So stress is also one of the causes for hypertension. Similarly, smoking. Smoking produces hypertension during smoking and for a few minutes after the finishing to smoke. But if they smoke so frequently, it can become persistent. And a very important thing that uh, our patients should know is there are no specific symptoms of hypertension. Like uh, some may have giddiness, some may have hypertension, I mean, a headache. All these things are when the patient has severe hypertension. So mild hypertension, the patient has no symptoms. So only on routine examination, you can find out hypertension. So what we should advise our patients is, if one of the family members has hypertension, they should check the BP on at least once a year after 48, age 40. And this You can diagnose hypertension early and start treating. And hypertension is described as a silent killer because there are no symptoms. But at the same time, it will be affecting the heart, affecting the kidney, affecting the brain. All these things are problems. And hypertension can produce target organ damage. When we say target organ damage, we mean the heart, the brain, the kidney. These are the Three common things which are affected by peripheral arteries. All these things are commonly affected by hypertension and can lead to very serious consequences like stroke, heart attacks, heart failure, so many things can occur. And chronic kidney disease can also occur in patients who have hypertension. And uh, When they develop symptoms, it is usually very high. So it is a 
You should not wait for symptoms to go to the doctor to check the BP. High blood pressure diagnosis very, very simple. Just according to BP by the BP apparatus, it's enough to diagnose high blood pressure. No further tests are required. The tests are required only to assess the target organ damage, like kidney, brain, heart, like that we have to check. And uh, some patients may have cholesterol. Cholesterol may not directly produce hypertension, but it produces heart attacks. So when the patient has hypertension and raised cholesterol levels, they are at a higher risk of developing heart attack. That is why cholesterol we are checking. So the tests required will be to assess the target organ damage and to look for the risk factors of heart attack. So that is the idea of investigating hypertension. And the BP recording is very high. You can straight, straight away start treatment, like 160 by 100 or 160 by 110. They started immediately. If it is borderline high, we will usually require three consecutive readings on three separate days to diagnose hypertension. When we talk of prevention, regular exercise is required, healthy diet is required. When I say healthy diet, it is taking more of fresh vegetables and fruits to increase the potassium content, quit smoking, reduce alcohol or stop alcohol, regular check of BP, stress management. For stress management, exercise is very useful. When you are regularly exercise, your stress really requires. And uh, regular adherence to the hypertension drugs can keep the blood pressure under control. When we say regular exercise is at least 30 to 45 minutes of brisk walking, which will give the uh, increase the heart rate and also reduce the blood pressure. Regular exercise also helps in maintaining uh, ideal rates. Then healthy diet is uh, eating uh, less fats, less carbohydrates, less sodium, more potassium, no alcohol. That is a healthy diet. Then uh, usually we Indians take nearly six grams of sodium chloride per day. If you can reduce it by half, it will be healthy. And those patients who are on drugs should take drugs regularly, daily. And relaxation exercise will help you reduce the stress. Emotional, psychological relaxation by just lying down flat and uh, relax, fixing the muscles, you can be mentally relaxed. And the regular intake of the anti hypertensive drugs will keep the blood pressure under control. And we must check the BP regularly to see if it is under control. If it is going up, we may have to adjust the dose of the drugs or change the drugs more appropriately. And most of the patients will require cholesterol lowering agents, drugs when the patient has hypertension and the family is of heart disease. So when the patient has hypertension, he has family history of heart disease, it is better to take a cholesterol lowering drug. So this way you can keep the blood pressure under control or prevent it even. Sometimes you will be able to postpone it, but definitely you will be able to prevent the complications of hypertension if you follow these guidelines. Thank you very much.